Hello everyone, you're watching College Review Series by Akash. Today we'll review Visveswarai National Institute of Technology that you certainly know it as VNIT Nagpur. So in this video, you'll find everything about this wonderful institute, its campus, courses, eligibility, admission process, fee structures, scholarships, placements, and most importantly, it's cutoff. And if you want to know what do the students of VNIT have to say about this wonderful institute, then stay tuned with me till the very end. VNIT ranks 41 among the engineering colleges and 82 in India by overall NIRF 2023. It is located in the heart of the city, Nagpur. VNIT has a beautiful campus of 214 acres with significant green spaces everywhere. VNIT's well-maintained infrastructure includes 25 virtual classrooms, hostels for boys and girls, classroom complex, healthcare centers, and various kinds of sports facilities. Let's explore the courses offered at VNIT Nagpur. VNIT awards bachelor's, master's and doctorate degrees in engineering, science, technology and architecture. Its flagship program, BTEC, includes various courses such as chemical engineering, civil engineering, computer science and engineering, electrical and electronics engineering, electronics and communication engineering, mechanical engineering, metallurgical and materials engineering, and mining engineering. Okay, now let's see the eligibility and admission process at VNIT Nagpur. Basically, the eligibility criteria at all the NITs is same. So if you are seeking admission for the BTEC program at VNIT, you must appear for joint entrance examination, JEE main and pass class 12th board exam with science stream. If you belong to general category, then 75 is the required percentage and 65 for ST, SC or PWD category. Further, you'll have to register yourself for JOSA counseling based on your JE main score. So once you get selected, get all your documents verified and pay the required fees. And yes, if you are a foreign student, then you will get accepted through DASA, direct admission of students abroad and ICCR scheme. Now the fee structure. See, the tuition fee at VNIT is 133700 for one year. Plus, you'll have to pay an amount of 15500 at the time of your admission. Therefore, the total fee for the entire BTEC program comes around 6 lakh. Like all other NITs, VNIT Nagpur also offers certain fee waivers to its students. For ST, SC or PWD category, the students don't have to pay the tuition fee at all. Whereas, if your family income is less than 1 lakh rupee, you'll get 100% remission on your tuition fees. And for students whose family income is between 1 lakh to 5 lakh, will get two-thirds of the remission on the tuition fee. In addition, VNIT Nagpur offers scholarships to its meritorious students. Some of the scholarships offered to BTEC students are national level scholarships, Maharashtra state scholarship, and other state and private scholarships. For more information on the eligibility for scholarship, do visit the national scholarship portal. The link is given in the description. Now, talking about the placements. The placements records at VNIT Nagpur is considerably good. Like in the year 2023, the highest salary package stood at 64 lakh per annum, which was offered not only to one or two students, but to 14 BTEC students in the product division of a prominent IT company. And the average package stood at 9.8. LPA. 239 leading organizations across diverse sectors participated in the campus placement. 1233 jobs offers were released till 3rd of July 2023. Thousand students from the all undergraduate and postgraduate courses got placed through campus placements, which is a significant rise as compared to the past three years. So, 
So the bottom line is every year 90 to 95 percent students get selected from VNIT Nagpur by the prominent recruiters. The recruiters at VNIT includes Google, DE Shaw, Oracle, City India, BNY Mellon, JP Morgan Chase, Vedanta, LNT Group, Bajaj Auto, Godrej Industries, and many more are some of the big brands that visit the campus regularly. Now coming on to the cutoff. Yes, as you all know, the seats at all the NITs are already reserved. So at VNIT, like 50% of the seats are reserved for home state candidates, and the remaining 50% seats are reserved for all India and other state candidates. Now let's have a look at the branch-wise cutoff after sixth round of JOSA Counseling 2023. The table shows opening and closing round for home state and other state candidates. After the sixth round of counselling, the rank cutoff for computer science branch for home state candidates started at 2013 and closed at 6916. And for other state candidates, cutoff started at 4920 and ended at 7087. For chemical engineering, the ranks closed at 34,672 for home state candidates after sixth round, and for other states, the closing rank is 33,172. Hence, the students aiming to get chemical engineering should target to get a rank less than 30,000. Coming on to the electrical and electronics engineering. For home state candidates, the rank opened at seven thousand eight hundred and twenty-two and closed at seventeen thousand six hundred and twenty-seven. And for other states, ranks open and close at nine thousand three hundred sixty-three and sixteen thousand nine hundred and thirty-one, respectively. Therefore, students interested in this branch should target to secure a rank around ten thousand. Talking about metallurgical and materials engineering, which is becoming a popular and students' preferred branch at VNIT Nagpur, closed at forty-eight thousand four hundred and three for home state candidates and forty-three thousand one hundred and thirty-three for other state candidates. In order to get a comfortable admission in this branch, you should aim to get a rank between thirty-five thousand to thirty-six thousand. Here is the rank cut off for all other branches of VNIT Nagpur. You can pause the video or take a screenshot to know the rank requirements of various streams. For more information related to VNIT Nagpur cut off 2023 for different categories, do visit the link given below. Now let's have a glimpse at students' life at VNIT Nagpur and see what the students at VNIT have to say about the institute. Every year VNIT conducts certain cultural and non-academic activities for its students which includes annual science and technological fest as well. Excess is one of the largest science and technology festivals and is held every year. The other non-academic activities include the entrepreneurship sale, consortium and ROE. Coming on to the students review on this institute. Overall the students have given 4.1 out of 5 stars. They say it is one of the finest NIT. Some say it has a great infrastructure and well-maintained classroom. The college is a value for money. Amazing campus life with clubs for dancing, dramatics, robotics that makes it a great place for overall development. 75% attendance is must. The college is very strict with regards to discipline and attendance. Overall VNIT Nagpur enjoys a prestigious reputation in the country. Also it is recognized as one of the pace setting institute for many other educational colleges of India. So based on various parameters like placements, cut off and students reviews, you can form your own opinion about this NIT. This was all from me today. For more such informative content, stay connected.